slaying these devourer cultists uh, looks like you looted them all since we're behind this handy dandy wall do we all want to take 10 minutes to restart our stamina hmm. Could be I don't there. know who's down or... I'm down 25 a quarter If not, it's fine. It's not. Like, oh my god, I'm good. Then bit one. That's only ten minutes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. What do you restore through uh, Take 10 exactly? You spend a point of resolve to get all of your stamina back. All your stamina, okay. Ah! Oh, it seems... Quite a few people were down. Yeah, might as well then. Alright, anything jump us? Uh, in the ten minutes that you guys spend to chill and recover your stamina, it seems that there are no further threats. You do hear a little bit of, uh, of mechanical movement uh, down the stairs slash ramp. Uh, because this is a very inclusive facility. Um, but no one accosts you. You don't see anyone coming. The lift behind you doesn't do anything. It's it's all fairly quiet for the moment. Right. Hmm, maybe that was all of them. Oh, I doubt it. Hmm, it's real thinking. All right. So where would you like to go? Um, I'm just going to shove Raz over here so that it's not a token I have to worry about. And we should try to sneak up this time. We I haven't come looking for us by dragon. now. We haven't come looking for us now. Maybe we can sneak up with the next group. We can try. I'm along, Mr. Dragon. All right, hang on, sorry, I was opening up my uh, PDF. <laughs> okay. As you guys descend upon the stairs, let me open up this little bit down here. There we are. So, um, as you descend down the stairs, you see at the bottom, uh, in the center of the junction, encased in a suit of battered power armor, a scarred and gnarled dwarf. He grinds his teeth on a frayed cigar and bits of tobacco roll down his unkempt beard. An advanced X-Gen gun is mounted on his shoulder, ready to unload a spray of death. You ready to dance? The dwarf's voice grumbles, a hint of dark humor dripping from the question. Ain't seen nothing but hunks of metal, weird plants, and people made of light since we came to this system. And I have just been aching for a dance. Hmm. 
waltz or a can can? He shoots you. Uh, you should all be able to see turn order. Yeah, cool. Oops, so much for sneaking up. And we're all in there. Cool. And he does indeed shoot you. What is... Never mind. Uh, I'm going to assume you don't have AC in the 30s no. of either variety. Off to a flying start. You're going to take 21 damage of the piercing variety. And then he's going to scooch. in your face and that's uh, about it did he uh, enter a threatened square of mine um dan tell me how reach works in this because that's not a threatened square in pa oh i uh, think he's slightly outside of it yeah or exactly. is he? he entered one he didn't yeah, leave down one. 10 feet right but that, right. that doesn't provoke he didn't pass through one. If gotcha. this was a threatened square, then him going there would have, but because it's 15 feet, it the, doesn't. The, gotcha. the only weird one is if you're passing from here to here, it does provoke. Alrighty. Uh, he's going to stand in your face and hang out for the time being. So, Ignemical. All right, uh, I will do a full round attack again. Let me activate my uh, solar. That's my icon if I can find it. There we Alright, first attack. I'm gonna assume that's a miss. That's gonna miss. Alright, second attack. 23. Uh, Casey? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's gonna miss too. Yeah. Alrighty, anything else you need to do? Uh, no, that's my whole turn. Yeah. Shut up. I'm going to guard and step back. And then we're going to shoot him. Stat blocks dropped off the feet list. That's annoying. Doesn't help me any. Uh, that's going to miss. Anything else you'd like to do? No, nope, that is part of a get em. Okay. Yar yar. Hmm. When someone asks you to dance with a rifle, you say no! Oh, well, that's a crit. So it is. Nicely done. Holy shit, Mark! 46 uh, EAC uh, fire damage and 2 burn. Okie doke. And I will make him. Um, Flat-footed, easier to hit. Alrighty, note that down someplace. Alright, so just so we're clear, like when I do my next roll, I add the plus two to my roll, but Alex takes the minus two AC into account. Correct. Alright.
Hello? Sorry, I was just pulling up some of his stuff because these stat blocks are a lot more bare bones than I'm used to. Oh, no, that's okay. It just got really quiet and I'm like, is my internet cut out? No, you're good. Uh, so I assume that is it for Yaya. Yes. All right, we're on to Nakey. All right. Uh, she's just going to move down here and shoot him with her pistol. That's going to miss. Yeah, I figured as much. That's all I can do in the turn. Okie doke. Uh, he's going to be a little bit annoyed that uh, no one decided to stick around in the melee. So he'll guarded step over here and punch the dragon twice. Uh, punch the dragon once because that's guarded step these days. Let me pull up my thing with my uh, stats on. Yep. Just let me know what your KAC is. Right, one so, second. Hang on. While he's looking that up, uh, this being's armaments, are any of them not attached to him? Um. No. Yeah, he's wearing a, a power armor suit With that looks guns. to have a, a kilt built into it and a cape, which is pretty cool. Uh, but he also has a rather large cannon mounted to his shoulder. So, you other than that, K, yeah, KAC. Okay, 30. He'll hit you then. What is he swinging in melee? His fists. It's a, a move that is remarkably similar to what Raz has been doing. So you're going to take 26, and that will be it for Ignemical. All right, I will attempt another full round attack with Dead. Okay. Uh, first attack. 28. Uh, against Casey so will hit. So 47. Okay. And second attack. 20. Uh, 20 is going to miss. And that's it for my turn. Shut up. All right, we're going to move down the stairs a bit and then shoot him in the back. And on this. Anything else for you? Nope. Yar Yar? Yar Yar will uh, move across the stairs, crouching down slightly to get a different angle on him, hoping to hit something critical. Alrighty. Uh, that's did EAC. I did not include any bonuses or anything, and yes, that's EAC. Okay, that will hit. Yeah, it's uh, 29, fire. I'll maintain the easier to hit. Cool. Mm, must be getting hot under the collar. Nikki? Alright, let's see if we can so actually... Did he burn? He did, I just took the burn. Okay. Um... I'm gonna get like a save or something against it. Does he? I didn't think... Oh, did they get a reflex save at the end of their turn to uh, stop? That sounds right. Probably. You know, the whole reflex put yourself out. Well, there. I'm going to take that back because I believe it's at the end of his turn. Oh, yeah. Two points anyway. Okay. I will what you got, Nikki? Try to shoot him. Okay. Now I will miss. miss. Yes, yes, <laughs> well. Yeah, end of your turn to get a reflex save. I'm going to just move down here. 
cool. Just to put some distance between me and him. Makes sense. It seems wise. All right. So he's gonna pull some shenanigan right here, and he's going to withdraw, which is still gonna take a shot from the dragon. So go ahead and make your AOO. Okay. That will miss. There we are. So he ends up over there behind the cover of the railing next to him. So unfortunately, you guys can't quite see where he is once he rounded this corner. But given that you can still hear him because the wall isn't floor to ceiling, uh, you have a pretty decent idea of where he's gone off. Monocle the dragon. Okay, so uh, how high is that That other level we just went? Uh, it's a ramp going down on the side. It's just that there's a wall separating the two of them. Uh, uh, the wall there's a wall reached ceiling? No. No, no, no. It's like 20 feet tall, though, so it just obscures vision of him at the moment. So you could easily go right over it. Uh, all right, so I should... It's like you're saying, I should be able to fly over it, right? Uh, yeah, what's your flight speed? Uh, 30, I believe. Let me double... Okay, so I'd say yeah, you could probably get up high enough that... Well, like if I say double able... move. Yes, absolutely, if you double move. I was just going to say, if you wanted to fly up and try and shoot him from it, somewhere over here, you could probably get high enough that he would have a little bit of cover, but you'd still be able to shoot at him. All right, well, I'm going to double move, which I believe will get me over the wall, and I should be able to land up here, right? If it's 40 feet, my movement is 60 yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll land up here. Okay, you have clear view of him now. And that's my turn. Okie doke. Shut up. Let's see. Let's use the jump jets to get over here and maybe land a shot on him. Uh, that will miss I believe or does oh, your I... thing still go even if you didn't hit him do you have to hit him for your get him to work or no, no? Okay, uh, and cool. actually that should be too higher I forgot to put in oh no no never mind that's correct so it is what it is except okay. for his AC changing you do indeed hit yar yar um, the folks on top of the wall are just going to hear some scrambling and scratching of nails against the, the plasteel surface as Yaya just goes scrambling straight up this wall. The climb speed and movement of 50. I'm just going to poke his head right up the wall and just like, Hi! Can't get away from us! Alrighty, that will indeed hit, and I believe you take him down too. 33. Fire. Yep. He falls in a bit of a heap. Shame. Could use spare parts. Hmm, might be something salvageable. Yara goes over to find out if the meat inside is indeed expired. It is indeed. There seems to be a rather large hole through uh, the shoulder gap in his uh, armor there, like right between where the shoulder armor and the breastplate uh, are supposed to join up. There's just a hole there, and you can see straight through it. Shame to damage the armor. So this guy has this thing here. Uh, 
There you go. You're adding that down? Yeah. Might be fun to put on the ship. Good security system. Maybe. Um, which way should we go? Looks like there's a couple. Oh. Pick a direction and go. The uh, the room that we're in. Is there any indication of uh, forceful entry in any of these three? Um, so the only one that's actually a door is the one to the south there, and that's a really large The other two are hallways that you can't quite see into just yet, uh, although you can see the soft uh, monitor glow coming from this one over here. Boop, monitor glow. Uh, the other one just looks to be a short hallway with little bits of lights coming through here and there. Okay. Jair is going to crawl up on the wall a little bit and peek his head in from the top ceiling corner so as hopefully not to be noticed. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything down the hallway. Uh, you have dark vision? Correct? I do. Okay, uh, I assume it's 60 feet like everybody else's dark vision, so let's just... There. Uh, yeah, you see absolutely nobody in the hallway. It looks to just be empty with uh, a door here, and a door here that you can see thanks to the light across the hall, and then a door here that has light spilled across it. Uh, right. Aside from that, it looks like the far side of the hallway has no doors. Ooh. Looks quiet. Might be worth checking the other entrance first. What do you think, Shadow? Um, well, we should figure out which way they are. Maybe this heads back to their ship? Are there any uh, tracks or, or scratches in the floor of machinery or anything like that? Uh, yes, actually. The floor around you oh I never actually gave a description of this place my bad forgot because we jumped right into combat uh, this is a wide junction at the bottom of the stairs descending from the north hallways lead off to the east and west while a large gray double door leads to the south sections of the floor have long gouges in them right around where you guys are standing as you can see um Mm, doesn't look like there are any tracks around here. This place is fairly well maintained, despite being extremely old. Probably something to do with uh, the way that it was maintained. Hmm. That's sad. But there's a nice shiny glow on the other side of this corridor, so... Indeed there is. So this room, uh, this spacious chamber contains three tall racks holding various powered down robots. Located in a central position, a freestanding control panel blinks serenely. A wide corridor leads out to the east, which is where you're currently standing. Peek around the corner. Just be careful. Might set up alarm. Might activate robots. Good get Missy. With that in mind, Yair will uh, climb up on the and ceiling. Stop. Before you can hop up on the ceiling... Whoops, I don't have that tool anymore. Before you can hop up on the ceiling... There we go. You are ambushed by some individuals. 
They look remarkably similar to all of the other folks that have been ambushing you thus far. It's the ambusher race. All right, so before we jump into... So that I don't forget this time. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The two guys here and here look to be the same folks that have been shooting guns and throwing grenades at you this entire time. This individual, however, who is currently tip tapping away at the keyboard there looks a little bit different he has a tail he has a tail the one we Maybe. captured or a different one different one entirely oh good she didn't escape <laughs> hmm. maybe get her a friend it looks like that I approve some kind of punk <laughs> The sci-fi electrical nailed nailed bat is what's doing it for me. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just need some uh Ah shit, what is what's his bat's name? I can never remember. Who's? Casey Jones? Uh the dude from Negan from uh, Walking Dead. Is it Lucy? I don't like think it was Lucy, thing. but it was it's a woman's name and I can't remember what it is now. Lucille Rep Oh Lucille, that's what it was. Yes, thank you. Right, so there we are, now that we're descended. Um God, why why is this like sixteen miles away from giant pain in the ass? Give me one sec, I just gotta get back to the right page. There we go. Uh, so the Yosoki at the keyboard over there kind of glances up distractedly in the middle of typing and then does a double take and looks at all of you with a rather dark scowl. Oh, your words says, back. what? What's that? Oh, your waves. Oh, okay. Uh, he looks at all of you with a scowl and says uh, excuse you do you mind and then pulls out a gun and starts shooting Man, the people here are not friendly I know maybe we should sing them a song alright um, yar yar is the word I'm looking for thank you Okay, so he's going to hit you. Uh, his gun seems to be yelling. If that helps you figure out what kind of damage it is, and it's going to be 16 damage. Okay. Oh, Christ, he's that kind of mechanic. God damn it, I don't know Exocortex as nearly as well. Uh, you spend a move action to target someone and then get your full level as BAB against them. That's the basic uh, thing. Okay, well, and I guess you'll have to Higher level, I have no fucking idea. Cool, that's no, fine. I'm good with that. Uh, Mark, you're up. Alright, well, uh, apparently this is how Wasoki say hello to each other, so he's gonna return the, the favor. How high is the ceiling in here? Uh, let's go with... Okay, so 30 feet up, 5, 10, 15, 20, over for my 50 feet of movement, and I'm going to shoot down at him. Her, or it. That'll be him. <sighs> you can tell from the enlarged cheek pouches. Yeah, that's two uh, less. That's going to miss. Yeah, it's two less anyway. Still going to miss. Yep, yep. Uh, you moved, you shot, you don't have any swift nope. actions or anything, I assume. So we're on to this guy, who is right below you, and now I have to scroll again. Yay.
Okie doke, so... Figures that I just closed the thing that I actually still needed open for these guys too. Cool, alright, so that's this one on the south. He's going to rush you. Talk, Rendo. And he's going to try and give you a good old fashioned whack. Uh, Yar Yar's on the ceiling, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. So he's going to roll up on you and try and hit you. Um. Probably miss. What's your AC? Uh, K is 27. Thank you. That's gonna miss. Nikki. You see two people. Um. Alright, let's go. Uh... Okay, we... Let's see. Now I see three people. I'm gonna target these two. Yeah, okay. And just hold up my hands and say, hey, 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 let's take a moment. Okie doke, they need plus. Right. Is 19. Uh, and the DC is what? 19. Okay. Need to turn you guys up a little. Nineteen, you say. I think one of them makes it. Here we are. Yes, one of them makes it. The other one does not. Okay. So uh, that was the first one that made it. So this guy is slow. Excellent. Give me one second to read what this does. Cool, okay. Alrighty. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? That is it for me. Shut up. Alright, we're gonna do super get him and stab that guy. Uh, that's Casey? Yeah. Does that have everything factored in? Mm hmm. That's cool, miss. And then we're going to guard a step back. Okay. That's better. This man here doesn't much like you people. So he's going to... Question for you. Can you shoot and throw a grenade as a full attack? That's a good question. I can't imagine why you wouldn't, because it's two attacks, right? but I don't I mean, actually know. Probably can't if you have like a two-handed weapon or something. But... Cool, all right, so he throws a grenade and then shoots at probably Nate. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your AC? It's just, we're gonna resolve the shot first. Um, KAC or EAC? Uh, EAC, please. Uh, that would be a 22. 22? Ooh, he nails you right on the nose. All right, then. So you're going to take... That much damage of the acid variety. Uh, and then he lobs a grenade to right... Hmm. Right there. Yeah. So it's going to get all three of you guys. I need a reflex save, please, from everyone. Uh, 
Oof. I think I'm not used to this uh, fucking the roll twenty characters. Oh, there Pretty it is. far away am I in there? No, no, no. You're fine. It's only ten feet. Uh, shut up. Fails. Nakey succeeds. Iggy is going to succeed. So everyone who succeeded takes two. Everybody who failed takes five. Uh, if you failed, you also take five burn. And that's his turn. The big dragon man. All right, I am going to move up and take a swing at that guy with yep, uh, make it with deadly aim. Also, uh, do I, I get, do I get a roll on the hit for the get him thing, or is that just to attack? To attack and damage. So okay. it's just added to your roll. Eighteen. Uh, that's KAC. It is. That's goal miss. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. The Yasoki takes a move action to turn on his targeting thing. Uh, aiming probably at Yar Yar still. He doesn't like other threats to his intelligence. Uh, and then I have to. There we are. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to check what something does. There it is. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, he's going to target both Yar Yar and Nakey with his Exocortex. Cool. And then he's going to take a shot at uh, probably Yar Yar because he doesn't like your face. That's right. Most Yar Yar, most most Yar Yars, most Asoki probably don't like each other's faces. Oh nope, he's gonna miss a lot. I like calling them Yar Yars. Most Yar Yars. Uh, speaking of which, it's Yar Yar. Okay, fire back. And I'm gonna reduce. That'll definitely his... hit. And I'm going to reduce his attack penalty, his attack bonuses by two. And I need to walk away for a second, so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, okay, so this man, who is unfortunately slowed a little bit annoyed about that so he's going to Jesus which page is this on again there it is all right uh, he's probably going to pull out a grenade and detonate it on himself catching everyone nope Nakey's too far away that's too bad he can't five foot so he just <laughs> detonates a grenade on his face No roll needed because it's not going in. So reflex save. Yes, sir. You both save, so you each take two and no burn. Uh, it's not his turn yet, so you don't take that burn again. But we are on to a Nakey. Alright, I'm going to turn the one to no, the no, south. Burn happens at the start of the burning person turn. Oh, okay. Well, then you're about to take some burn. Um, I'm going to turn to this guy, and I'm going to cast Mind Thrust on him at level 4. Do it up. Uh, will for half. I guess add 2 to that. Ooh, I think he might save. God damn. Yeah, this is only 20. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna save. Alright. Uh, no SR though, so you're good there. What? Okay. Pies of hate casters, and there's no way for me to increase my DC. 
Yep. Life sucks. Anything else from you? Um, I don't, I'm not liking these guys dropping grenades on me. It, that's not fun. So I'm gonna try to discourage that and distance myself from everyone. Just, just pull out of the room a little bit. Cool. Uh, that means we're on to shut up, and you take some- Yep. It's gonna be five this time. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna use my move action to have- get him- Actually, oh, there's some range on that. Make it bigger. Yeah. 60 feet. Okay. okay, so we will use move action to get him on the rat, and then my standard action, I am pulling out my fire extinguisher and putting myself out. Okay. That's my turn. Okie doke. Uh, this man going to wonder why the GM did not already have this sheet back up. It's because I'm a terrible GM. Who let me GM this? Oh yeah, that was my wife. You should all be angry at her, clearly. Uh, he's gonna... What grenades do you have, guy? Nice. Go for grenade numero dos as he guarded steps over here. Actually, he can just move. Fuck that. He's gonna scooch. And let's see. Hmm. Well, that's no fun at all. Yeah, Nikki, I spoiled your plan. Ugh, what are you doing? You're not in fireball formation anymore. Come on. Alright, well, he's gonna land it next to McDragon Face because he's big. Net one check, no net one, nice. You will fail your save, Nakey make me a reflex save. Oh, good. Cool. You will both fail. So you both take eight damage and you both take two burn on your turn. All right, let me put a burn indicator. Surprised you're not resistant to fire, Mr. Dragon. Hey, hey, okay. Not that kind of dragon. There's gotta be like a flame icon in here somewhere. Well, you get to immediately make a save at the end of your turn. So you might not need an icon. I'm just gonna slap it on just. Well, yeah, it is my turn next, so it doesn't really matter, but just to remember. Alright, I'm gonna go. Ahead. No, hang on, hang on. So I take it now, not the end of the turn? Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and full round attack the guy in my... F so, first attack, and this guy, does he still have get him? No. Okay, that fell off. All right. Light him up. 21. That is gonna hit okay, 31 damage okay and for the second hit 27 also will hit obviously for 42 I just look happy to, about that you have to make a reflex save for the uh, burn mm-hmm 19. You are good now. Alright, that's my turn. Alrighty. The rat is not happy about the fact that uh, he has to face off against another rat instead of actually deal with, you know, typing and computer. He's a little salty about it, honestly. But he's also not an idiot. 
Oh no, wait, he already did that, never mind. He's definitely an idiot. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Okay, but what does that do? Okay, you have a thing that it doesn't tell me what it does, so I'm going to ignore that. Uh, he's going to go ahead and probably shoot twice at the Isoki. Four will probably miss, but I think 15 hits you. 15 definitely hits you. Okay. So. <laughs> This gun is still yelling at you. Energy or kinetic? Uh, well, it's yelling at you. Okay, so energy. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah. Mm. Think I need to take away your toys. I'm going to attempt to disarm him. Which will require okay, let's a see. deck save. He is indeed. That's a reflex save, sir. Reflex. This is not 5e. Uh, that's going to be successful because he does not have a plus uh, 19 to his reflex. So he takes some damage and drops his gun. Yep. Take that. Clearly, I'm the better rat. Uh, uh, Soki, I mean. Yeah. What are those? This man has blown himself up once, so why would he not do it a second time? It's not quite the best trick in the world. Do it more than once. The D twenty four. That's his reflex save. Oh, you're fine. Tommy, what's up? I get a reflex save from you. Oh, sorry. You're good. Sure, I figure out how to do like uh, shapes and stuff. All good. Uh, so you're going to take five because you fail and you will be burning again. Not that it stacks, so uh, Shut Up is going to save, however, so he takes only two because these guys can't roll above a five. Nikki. My... Alright, I'm just tired of this. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Can someone draw me a um, 20 foot radius on these two? Also take three, please, because you're burning. I thought it was two. Or does it roll every time? Yeah, you re-roll it every time. Well then. Ah, uh, that's cute. Thank you! Alright, so. And it's gotta stay there, so don't delete it. Um, do you know what? Let's... Is there a way we can move it back so this guy is on the front edge of it? But still get both of them? <laughs> There's two different people who choose this. <laughs> oh god, what have you guys Alright, stop. I, I got this. Relax. Delete, delete yours, Dan. <laughs> oh god. Stop touching things. Excellent. You guys right are there. bad at listening. Yeah, pretty much. Right there. That was a ah, shame. we get to see our good friend Eddie again. Yeah, our good friend Eddie. Right, so those are bad rolls. Uh, what's the DC? Twenty. Um. Twenty. 
Okay, well, they suck, so they're going to be in it. Uh, yep, they're definitely both going to be. So they take full damage, and their speed's reduced to half. And they're knocked prone. It's the first time this man has taken any damage. It's not much damage-wise, but hopefully... Alright, well this unfortunate Yusoki has been knocked prone and disarmed. He's not happy. Not at all. The uh, Ahsoki's gun will also have gone flying because of this effect. Was the Aki on fire? Oh yeah, yes. let me make my... Terrific. You're fine. Alright, I'm just gonna guarded step up and hit this guy. That is a number. Uh, that's gonna miss. Uh, no way. Does hold on? Does your get him apply before or after? It's already included in my roll. Oh, okay, cool. Then you're gonna miss. Wait, you said the uh, that guy was disarmed. Yes, okay, he was disarmed. No, it's the, so he's... yeah, it's this man over here is disarmed. He is also no, 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 I'm sorry. I was no. The reason I was asking you is his, so his weapons on the ground. That's that's literally what I've been saying. Yes, his, no, his, his weapon, weapon is, is like bouncing around, around the room at the moment. No, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just reading about the spell. I was making sure like that's going. Yeah. Oh yeah, his weapon. So his bouncing around. Yeah. And then, did you have anything else you would like to do? Nope, I'm out of actions. Okay. This guy is making friends with Eddie. I gotta remember what this thing does. The damage in prone only happens on the initial cast, I believe. Yeah, it does let's say leave and re-enter. Yeah, so through they could stand up and move out of it. They're prone in half speed. That's the only effect right now. Cool. I'm just making sure that I fully understand what I'm looking at. So, uh, this man here will stand up, which I believe is still a move action, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he stands up. Uh, and then... There's no bad, really, aside from slow move speed. If you stay in it, is it? believe so any loose objects will go flying around so like grenades and stuff Oop. that's fine he has already thrown both of his I believe so he doesn't care all right he stands up and shoots at uh, probably the big dragon because he's big I didn't even do anything you're a big target so he thinks he can hit you easier but is mistaken so you're got hit by the Yusoki's pistol Knock him off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slapped him right in the face when he was trying to line up a shot. And then we have Iggy. Alright, I'm good. I'm actually gonna attack the guy in front of me only once, but with that. Okay, do it up. Thirty-four. Uh, that's definitely gonna hit. Four... 45 damage. Ouch. That was 540. Wait, what's that? He's dead. Okay, good, because yeah, I also I, I, the move, so I was banking on him. I punched in the wrong numbers, really, what it was, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. <laughs> and I'm also going to move. And that's my turn. Was the cool. Oh, burning? wait, sorry, I need the burn and the reflex save. Hang on. Yes, reflex save uh, for did me. You say and the I'll burn get you. is how much damage? That is five this time.
And 19. So clear? Yep, you're good. Alright, now I'm good. Yay. Alright, so the Yusoki stands up, shrieks in absolute rage, walks up to this dragon with a glowing baseball and tries to kneecap him. He will provoke on the way in. Wait, nice. hold on. Will he provoke on the way in? Let me just... No, he will not. No, uh, no, wait. Yes, he will. That's, that's right. The that's the one situation one. where it gets the weird one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will swing at him for 30. That'll hit. And 45 damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, upon being slapped in the face as soon as he gets up here, he lets out a surprised shriek and drops the baseball bat, falls to his knees, and uh, starts pleading for his life. Yar Yar. Uh, Yar Yar is going to take aim at the fellow who's still in the effect. Okay. And try to shoot uh, the weapon out of his hand. Alrighty, make it happen. You will indeed crit him. 42 fire damage, and his gun goes flying around the room. It's uh, 53, actually. 30, no, uh, oh, I missed the crit, yes. Uh, and then he needs to refill. Assuming he's not dead. He is most certainly not dead. I need to double check what his reflex saves are. And he's disarmed. Hey, congratulations, Naki. You just created a weapon tornado. Excellent. Uh, I'd like to imagine every time it hits a table or something, it misfires. He's dead, Naki. Um, so it's just the one guy left? Yep. Well, the, right. the, unless the rat is feigning surrender. He threw I... down his weapon. I'll already a shot to shoot him if he should try to pick the weapon up again. Otherwise, okay. Shut up. Let's get over to a position. That will indeed hit. I assume you're shooting. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Okie doke. You drill him. Good job. Uh, anything else from you? Nope. Okay. He is not thrilled about the way that this has all worked out. So he's gonna do the smart thing and wait for the GM to get back to his fucking page because they're like on opposite ends of this book. Welcome to Starfinder. Yeah, it's kind of a fucking disaster, honestly. Uh, so he rolls up on Shadow. Says, hey, what's up? And tries to gut you with a lot. What's your... Oh, never. He can be sorged. Okay. He's not too worried about that, honestly. You know, I just realized I crit somebody earlier and I didn't give them double damage. So you guys are lucky. Oh, the guy with the gun, right? Yeah. You did a decent amount of damage too, like 20-something, right? Uh, You were readying to... Yeah, uh, I, I realized that. I forget that. No worries. Just making sure we're on the same page. Yeah, right. I was confused, and then I looked at the turn order and figured out which one you were talking about, so. Cool. So he fucks you up good. Uh, and takes some electricity damage for his trouble. We are on to the dragon. Okay, um, 
So, real quick question at the circles I drew to the right. Would that be a representation of something, of a sphere with a 10 foot radius, and then the uh, every square within 5 feet of that also being affected? Are you talking about Nova? No, uh, Miniature Star. It says it's a sphere with a 10 foot radius. Um, I don't think it's literally a sphere. I believe it's just a smaller version of one of these. Just because of the way that, you know, grids work. 10 foot radius would be like this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then, yeah, every adjacent square, if it's also within five feet of the sphere. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll figure it out later. I'm not going to use this fight anyway, since I think this is about to. Let me just uh, take a step right here and take a swing at that ass. Do it up. And that's going to be 27. That'll hit. Four forty-seven. That will take him out, I think. Uh, yep, he goes down. As the room collectively winces. Ooh, that had to hurt. Alrighty. Combat resolves with the uh, rat begging and pleading for his life. Starting a collection. So what were you trying to do here? Um, let's see. Uh, disarming the rat and all that. Yep, of course. Don't forget to check the Sorry, che check just, the cheeks. Just getting back. To uh, I'll leave that to your <laughs> Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So he explains that he was working with his sister to try to um, repurpose the robots in here into a really badass robot arm. Do you have a sister here? Uh, yes, but I am not told who the fuck she is, or what her name is, or where any of her... Maybe she was the other one we captured? Oh, figurative sister. I thought you meant okay, actual yes, sister. Yes, you are correct. I thought it might have been, but it doesn't actually ever say down by Zaz himself. Yes, you already have her prisoner. Oh, yeah, we've, we've met her. She's nice. A little crazy, but nice. That's adorable. Yar Yar has a crush. Um, he kind of gives you a, a look like you are both insane and also wearing uh, body parts as a hat. It just he thinks that you're very very gross and crazy. All. Is wow, and you're supposed to be the nihilists. Yar Yar is wearing a body part as a hat. No, it's it was just an analogy. He he looks at Yar Yar like he's a, a psycho wearing uh, poop for. Okay. Feel me. Cool. Mm. So you're taking another ten minute rest. This is like the most leisurely dungeon crawl I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Well, there's no other way to get back stamina, really. <laughs> That's true. It's just funny. All right, boys, we've murdered some people. Time to uh, smoke a bowl, break. you know, get some lunch, hang out. Just smoke take a breather. Yeah. So Pretty what much. kind of club was this? That is a question. Hold on, let me get you his stuff. So it looks to be an incapacitator. These suits are nice. Ooh, a 
shed pack. Okay, is that an upgrade for you? Uh... I don't know anymore. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, we can't really... For armor, you have to spend time. Well, actually, yeah. we have a little bit we'll, of time. We can store it till later. The other guys have that times two, because they both used their grenades, so you don't get any of those. Yeah, they were a little uh, grenade-happy. Hey man, they had grenades to burn, and they wanted to burn you. We're just chilling out in that, uh, that choke point, too. Don't have to yep. worry about actually hitting us with them, that's for sure. Yup. Much easier I mean, to make other people tickle. roll. Guaranteed damage, even if it's only a little. Alrighty. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So, uh, yeah, you're, uh, after having searched this guy, smack him in the back of the head a few times, like a, a bad dog, like, spit it out, come on, spit it out. Making sure it doesn't have anything tucked away. The other thing he had in his, uh, cheek pouches was another Kishley battery, which is listed in his... Gotta be tingly. A little bit. You would look at 9 volts, see if it's live? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's making sure he stays awake while he hacks things. Ah, incapacitator is an operative weapon. But who do I know? I said the incapacitator is an operative weapon, so I say bah. <laughs> Let's take a look at what that is. Um, he, so while you guys are, are trying to get his stuff off of him, and he is sitting there trying to uh, demand that you spare his life and things uh, he lets loose that he will gladly take you to his uh, so what I want to know from him first of all is um, who else is here what other people have been assigned to do things if you're here to make these robots come back alive or to repurpose them or whatever, whatever it was like what other things are people trying to do here well, I'm glad that you asked. He has no idea what's going on down the opposite hallway. Uh, down the first one, you look down all the way over here. Mm -hmm. He knows that they have a ship in one of the hangars, but he could not tell you which one it was, uh, because honestly, he wasn't paying attention when they... Uh, uh, and he knows exactly where his boss is and that she has uh, a couple friends in there with her. But honestly, as soon as he saw this place, he stopped paying attention to everything else, so he has no idea where anybody else is. Hmm. Yeah, to be fair, that's understandable. Ancient tech? Very exciting. Did you find anything new here? He is delighted to go on just the longest tangent you will let him go on about the robots and things here that were actually originally just custodian bots, but he repurposed them into awesome fighting machines. So that whole 10 minute stamina rest is just the two Ahsokis going back in native Akaton, chittering away like happy rodents. Is, is there any way for us to take control of the robots? Maybe put them towards defending this place against the cult he uh he kind of busts out laughing at that looks around at a lot of you and goes people like you no 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 people like us you and me like the knickknacks he, uh, and, and mechanicals and, and computers and tinkering. Oh, so much tinkering. So he yelps a little bit when his tail is stepped on and then yanks it out from under the foot and looks back at uh, Yar Yar and says, Oh, you were serious. Let me laugh even harder. And then does. 
Taking a look at his workbench and the computer systems, can I get an impression of how far along they were? Like, is it feasible? Or was this like a long-term thing that they had no real expectations of completing soon? Um, he explains more or less that he's been working on it since they got here, and he's still not 100% finished. So take from that what you will. Okay. What do you think? Shut up. Give them a try. They might wake up and shoot us in the head, but mm, might work for us too. Or it might uh, just not work so, at all. So, are there any robots in this room? Uh, at the moment, there are like bits of them layered around all over the place that it looks like somebody was working on. Oh. Uh, but oh. nothing functional. Okay. I, I was thinking they were like in the alcoves all around the base or something, but if they're just pieces, no. then. Yeah, we're yeah, not gonna... um, looking at this yeah, map, I think this is uh, like work tables. With the currently of... functioning ones are not in this room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anything to be gleaned from the computer console? Um. About the facility or recent accesses? No, not really. Uh, looks like he just had a, a console command screen up and was rewriting the code for these guys uh, just manually but all the rest of them just offer you very useless information for your quest. Uh, it's got a lot of wonderful information about diagnostics of this place. Nothing that actually is relevant or helpful. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's tie up the rat and then leave him with Raz for babysitting. It takes a moment to do a, a control F for friend or foe and target and set everything equal to cultist. Unfortunately, you are not so fortunate. They <laughs> uh, they don't actually put comments on their code. So, I mean, that's realistic. They truly yeah. are an evil cult. They're horrible, horrible people. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. Oh, the chaos, the chaos. Yeah, well, devour our cult. So, where to next? Uh, well, we need to find tie this guy up or yeah, something. Tie, tie him up, leave him with Raz to babysit. There you go. And hopefully not eat. It's a rat. I don't think even Raz would eat him. It depends if you trust Raz. Of course. Why would we trust a 300 pound giant lizard man with sharp teeth and claws? Alrighty, where to next? Uh, down this corridor. Um, keeping to the ceiling routine, because that seems to work pretty nicely. Okay. Uh, what did we say? 30 feet? Mm -hmm. Can you just make a note on yourself someplace that yep. you're on the ceiling? Thank you. Oh, something's peeking. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing there. So, methodically, as is tradition, Loki will check the door for uh, traps or any sense that there might be uh, someone inside. Um, if you're looking it over, you don't see anything trap-wise. Uh, this door has the same triangular touchpad as every other door. However, the door to this chamber uh, does not open when you approach, and the touchpad blinks red instead of green, like the other ones. Do I sense any vibrations? Uh, not presently. Uh, yeah, I will drop down for a... Uh... Imagine, just for convenience sake, he'll drop down to the floor so he can access the, the hand panel better. And he's going to try to use his engineering and uh, computer wiles to, to make it play nice. Okay. Uh, feel free to do whatever you would like to get this computer or this uh, touchpad that you have not actually tried to push yet to play nice. I believe it was uh, pulling it off the wall and using an engineering to, to rewire it. Uh, you will succeed at rewiring it. 
So, hold on one second. It's a very inconvenient door panel. I mean, you have to go through all this trouble just to make the door open. So, the door immediately slides open upon you rewiring it. Well, you because it's automatic like that. Uh, this circular chamber has stark white walls that are occasionally broken up by rectangular outlines near the floor and a few feet off the ground. The overhead lighting buzzes incessantly. This looks to be a single-person lavatory uh, with a sink, toilet, and other sanitary devices emerging from the walls uh, at a touch. Some of them are still partially emerged, as though uh, it like stopped working in mid-use. Um, however, as the door slides open, it knocks over a... Kishley, a gaunt Kishley wearing a clean set of robes that have faded to gray with time. Unfortunately, in the process of knocking him over, they woke him up too, so he lunges at the nearest one of you, which I believe is Yar Yar. Most likely. Probably roll twice. Medic is 29. There we go. So he's going to get a surprise round because, you know, they're bullshit like that. Like that um, when Han Solo uh, turns around, opens the door, and there's Darth Vader sitting at the other side. Yeah, pretty much. And yet, Solo still won initiative on that encounter. I want to know sound shot first. Every time. Give me two seconds, I'm just pulling up a thing. Oh, okay. It'd be nice if they put the monster abilities in the stat block, but instead I have to go to an outside source for Thanks, Paizo. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So he'll... What a bizarre... situation we've got going on here. He'll uh, try and throw his arms around you. Not in a hug, unfortunately. He seems like he's trying to strangle the life out. Yeah, it would not be the first time someone to try to choke out the rat. What's your uh, KAC? 29. I mean to fight for it. Oof. He's just gonna get... Barely. So I need a fort save from you. Okay. That's a 21. You get it on the nose. You're luck. You're still grappled, though. Okay. That does to me while my uh, turn comes up here. Oh. Think that'll so it is too much. thusly your turn. Yep. Uh, grapple, 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 grapple. You cannot move or take two handed actions. Negative two penalty to AC. Most attack rolls reflex are specifically negative two all around. Oh, I'm sorry. You do still take damage, though. Just not as bad. So you take half this. Okay, 14. I'm out of order, Alex. Oh, did I not sort? I could have sworn I did. There you go. As the rat pulls out uh, his pistol and shoots him uh, point blank in the chest. Okay. You're going to ignore the sneak attack because I don't see any way I could possibly do that. Okay. Uh, 14 is definitely going to miss. Alright. Nikki. Yeah. Huh. Um. Do I, I know there's going to be cover because I got a giant ass fucking dragon in front of me. Uh, I am hovering if you want to just, you know, crawl under me. 
You can move through his space anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna see me just duck between my legs. That's gonna miss. Twenty-four. Yep. I'm scared. He's got the that beefy. You see, I'm, this I'm guy. gonna just move over here then. Alrighty, shut up. Uh, let's guarded step in. Slash in. That will hit. And anything else for you? Nope. Okay. Durgan. Does he have partial cover from this angle from me? No, you're big. Alright, let's full round then. So, uh, plus two, first attack. 22. This is? Second attack, 31. Yes. So that's gonna be 43 damage. Okay. He'll take that. What kind of damage is yours? Uh, it's just a kinetic, I think. Okay. Like it's like it's uh, treated like a energy weapon from the Solarian thing, but it's just kind of. Okay, gotcha. So his turn. He is going to probably back up the grapple, I assume. Give me just one sec. I just want to make sure. Testing macro. I don't see anything that says you have to maintain your grapple. Uh, grapples in last until the end of your next turn, unless you renew them. Uh, where does it say that? Uh, under grapple. The grappler pinned condition lasts until the end of your next turn, unless you renew it on your next turn with another grappler oh, yeah. combat. Alrighty. I mean, That's for the end of your next turn. Yeah. Okay. So the he is currently grappled right now. If he doesn't do anything to keep it going, it'll end at the end of his turn. Gotcha. Alright, well he'll continue to try to grapple these. Nope. Just kidding. He won't. Ugh. That was very nice. Okay, so that is more or less his turn. I don't think you can full round grapple to But I actually have no idea now that I've said that. I think you can. I mean, you'd have to take the attack penalty. Yeah, I wasn't planning on taking it the first time, so I'll be honest. Yar yar. Alright, uh, I'm using a, slipping out of his fingers and using a chat up as a bit of a distraction and cover. Yari will take his trick attack action to move away from him. And take a shot. I believe fire works against dead things. Uh, uh, should, it would if you hit. Yeah, that should be 20, but I doubt that matters. Nope. Nikki. Yeah. 
trying not to use spell. Fuck it, I'm gonna just try to shoot him again. That's gonna hit. Hey! Oh, that'll win your turn. Good job. Shut up. And then we're gonna guard it step back. That will miss. Thank you. All right, another full round. Twenty-two. Miss. Twenty-eight. Hit. Fifty-three. Cool. He looks battered, but not beaten yet. He is going to. Guarded step up over here and try and grab... Actually, you know what? You look juicy. Uh, I assume that's going to grapple you, probably. What's your... KAC? Who's talking to you? Get out of here, rat. I said he looked juicy. No, I said you look juicy. Oh. 24. What is it? 24? Mm -hmm. You're fucking pinned, good lord. Yeah. Alright, make me a fort save. Oh god, what is he doing to Nike? Oof, this is gonna hurt you a lot. She, she looks right at him right in the eye and says, Harder Daddy. He says, Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 33 oh. bludgeoning damage, 1 con damage. As he literally begins to suck the breath out of your lungs. Well then. Yeah, your uh, your lungs slowly begin to compress, as if uh, the air and their very form is being pulled out through your throat. Oof. Interesting. He is he's a very unpleasant individual. I'll see if I can find a picture of him. But in the meantime, you. Wait, what was the ability he used called exactly? Strangle. Just strangle. Appropriate. Simple. God damn it. Younger is. Younger does nothing. You a miss. I don't know if any way I could. Assist Nikki in that. Other than shooting. Gonna say he team. hasn't. He hasn't taken attack of opportunity for that, correct? I'm um, trick attacking. So no. Only if the trick attack fails. Which it did. Well, I guess the trick attack itself didn't fail. The attack attack did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nikki, you are currently pinned. Yeah. So what does one do to get out of being pinned? Uh, so you can either do a grapple check or a, an escape artist, I believe. Nope, it's acrobatics. Acrobatics, huh? Yep. Yeah, that's about right. Nope. I'm, I'm assuming else. that takes my action. Yes, that's your standard. You can still move or whatever. I can oh. move and uh, I'm being grappled. Pin. You can move action. action. Let me rephrase. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's all I can do. Okay. Shut up. Uh, well. Let's try and shoot him since stabbing was not very effective. That will miss. That's me. The dragon. And I will use my move action to make my attack do fire. And I will take a swing at him. 32. That'll hit. 48 fire damage. Ooh, he's getting close, but he's not down yet, even with his suit on fire. 
And now it's his turn. He's going to try and grapple you. With a three. What is your AC again, Case? Mind you, your Rider? ACs are negative two when you grappled. Uh, my KC? Yeah. Uh, 24 before any negatives and stuff. Okay. He is going to back it up again, I believe. So we're good there. So you're going to take more of this? Yep, yep, yep. Starting to think she likes it. Probably Does she get another one. fork, or was it just the first one? Uh, you do get another fork, yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, nope, unfortunately not high enough. Excellent, excellent. That blue bar is looking a little low. Alrighty. And we're on to Yar Yar. Oh, Yar Yar is going to run right up to this guy and point blank like try to shoot him in the wrist. Uh, I don't know what shooting him in the wrist is going to do, but okay. Flavor. Okay. Just trying to get him to let go of Nike. That will hit. 24 fire. And that puts him down. He gets shot through both wrists and topples to the side. Mm. Motionless at last. Yell oh, down at the corpse in, nasty. in his native language, and it's just lots of squeaks and clicks and, and whistles, and you just hear one word sneak into the regular language as like, consent! Pretty sure Nike consented as soon as he started. <laughs> just saying. Oh, man. The armor gets put out pretty quick after you guys stop you know, fueling the fire with more fire. It's it's actually made of metal, so eventually it does put itself out. But really, I mean, if you're on fire, ninjas can't catch you, so it's really just a bonus. That's fair. And that, I believe, is where we will leave this for next time, because I have to get up at fucking really a shit o'clock in the morning. Nikki has to finish a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki looks down at the dead guy and goes, Was it good for you too? <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. Well, as always, thank you for running and everyone else for playing. Thanks for running. Glad to be here. Anytime. Okay. Well, not anytime. I honestly hate running APs, but I enjoy Starfinder, so I, I think I'll manage. I definitely feel this, at least this particular campaign at any rate, just needs a lot more prep than the usual AP reading the book as you go. Yeah, definitely. But I'm not too, too worried about that. I think we'll get through it just fine. It's only like a book and probably four more pages. All right. Well, as always, thank you and have a good night, everyone. All right. Take it easy, y'all. Yeah.